Richard's Wake is, is a desperate exception to, to all rules. I think Joyce's situation in writing the book was very much the situation of Arnold Schoenberg in uh, developing so decaphonic music. Uh, Schoenberg did not want to do it. Even in, uh, later in life, in, uh, in living in Hollywood as he was, he would say to George Gershwin, to whom he, with whom he played tennis, yours is the music I would like to write. I would like to write Mendelssohn's violin, you know, but I'm, I've been driven uh, by the zeitgeist, uh, by social circumstances, by the development of art to this, in this particular direction, and I've produced this particular kind of music. Joyce, in effect, said the same thing. Uh, probably he did not want to write Finnegan's Wake. It was a hell of a thing to do. You know, the man was going blind. It was a slow process. Nobody wanted the book. His friends hated it. But having produced Ulysses, having uh, presented, as it seems, the entirety of possibility of uh, conscious thought, uh, conscious feeling, uh, among ordinary people, he had to turn to the world of sleep. It had never been done before properly, and uh, he had to develop a technique for it. I don't think Joyce liked the book terribly. I don't like the book all that much, but the book had to be written. And I think that uh, sometimes we all feel that. We, I'm going to write a novel, I don't want to write it, but I have to write it, because nobody else will do it. It's going to take a long time for uh, Finnegan's Wake to be generally accepted. Uh, I don't think, I, indeed, I don't think it will ever happen. But I think the beginning of uh, acceptance is uh, the mere acceptance of the fact that it had to be done. Somebody had to do it, and uh, Joyce is obviously the man who had to do it.